Hello, I'm Klaus, and I research evolutionary computation and artificial life at the University of Tsukuba. Today, I want to talk a little bit about our research on city simulation. I want to talk about two research topics, how we use city simulation to help the disaster mitigation, and how we create virtual cities. In our research, we use a technique called multi-agent simulation model. First, what is a model? A model is a description of our world, how it exists and how it changes. We use models to predict how the world will be in the future and prepare accordingly. One example that everyone knows is the weather models. Weather prediction makes a model about how the clouds move, and we use this model to predict whether it will rain tomorrow and if we should wash our clothes today. Next, a multi-agent simulation model is a kind of model where we focus on individual intelligent agents, like people. Each agent lives in the world described by the model. They make their decisions and they interact with each other, changing the world. You can think that this is a bit similar to a video game, like The Sims. So our world is to use a multi-agent simulation model to understand what happens after an earthquake has handed. The agents are people who are leaving their homes, work or school and are trying to find an organized shelter. What kind of questions can we try to answer when we use this multi-agent simulation model? We focused on two questions. One, how long does it take for everyone to reach some shelter safely? In other words, to complete the evacuation. Two, are the shelters over capacity or under capacity? To answer these questions, we need to think about how people behave during the evacuation. We create our model based on interviews that were made by the Japanese government with evacuees after large earthquakes in Japan, such as the Great Hanshin earthquake in 1995 and the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in 2011. These interviews showed some issues that affect the success of an evacuation. Let me give you three examples. One, lack of information. Some people are just visiting the city, or maybe they moved recently and they do not know where to go when a strong earthquake occur happens. Two, even if someone knows how to get to the shelter, the road they know may be blocked or collapsed. Three, even if they can get to the shelter they know, if it's already full, they have to go to somewhere else. In these three examples, we have a similar problem. Some people do not know where to evacuate. So a key part of our multi-agent simulation model is to represent how people use this knowledge, how people share this knowledge, and how this knowledge affects the evacuation. Each agent in our simulation model either knows where they need to go, or they do not know where they need to go. If they know, they move efficiently towards the shelter. If they do not know, they try to follow other agents nearby, or they just walk around. The model also allows the agents to talk to each other and share information. So, each agent can ask others for direction, they can give information if they know it, and they can listen to other agents talking to each other. With these abilities, our system can simulate some critical situations. For example, during the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, it was very important to evacuate to a safe area as soon as possible. However, surveys after the disaster showed that some elderly people did not understand the danger and did not start evacuation until someone else called them. Using this communication system that I described, we can reproduce the situation in the simulation. What is the utility of this research? A simulation model can help a policymaker make better decisions. For example, imagine that a city planner wants to add wireless broadcast stations to distribute information during an evacuation. She can use this system to simulate an evacuation with different number of stations in different locations and see the results of her ideas. In other words, the goal of our simulation model is to help people visualize the possible results of the ideas so that they can make better decisions to improve the ability of cities to mitigate damage from disasters. The second topic of research from our group that I want to talk about today is the automatic generation of virtual cities. In the first project, our simulation model was based on data from real cities. But in the second one, 
we create completely new cities that never existed before. Why create virtual cities? Well, they can be useful to generate large what-if scenarios, especially for city development. For example, imagine a policy that requires every residential area to reserve 10% of their area for parks. We can simulate a disaster of, on thousands of virtual cities with this idea and without this idea and observe the difference in the possible effects. Virtual cities are also useful for entertainment, such as the creation of content for computer graphics and video games. How do we create these virtual cities? In our work, we use ideas from machine learning. We take data from thousands of cities in OpenStreetMaps, and the machine learning system detects patterns in the structure of these cities, such as neighborhoods, road layouts, etc. Then, the system recombines these patterns to create new cities that are similar to existing ones. The multi-agent city system that I described before serves as a check for the virtual cities created. We observe how the agents behave in the real cities and in the virtual cities. And if the behavior is too different between the real and the virtual cities, then there is probably something wrong with the virtual cities that needs to be fixed. Of course, we do not use pure machine learning. Cities develop in an organic way, following zoning laws, human culture, and his historical accidents. Because of this, we also want to collaborate with social scientists and students of urban planning and design to make sure that the virtual cities of our world follow the cultural and human characteristics of cities in different parts of the world. In short, uh, these are the two focuses of our city simulation research group, simulation of disaster evacuation and generation of virtual cities. When I was a kid, one of my favorite pastimes was to imagine many fantastic worlds from books and movies. Today, I want to make this dream a reality, creating tools that allow people to imagine better futures and make those futures their realities. Thank you for listening and let's make something.